Welcome to lecture 4, week 5, Load Monitoring Methods in Sports Specific Fitness Training 2. Objective of lecture 4 is to know load monitoring methods for power training. The outcome of lecture 4 is to use velocity based training load monitoring methods in sports specific fitness training specifically for power training. Let's start by defining power. Power is the ability of muscular and neuromuscular system to produce maximal force at maximal velocity. Unlike muscular strength, the aim of power development drills or power development exercise is to move the load or to perform the drill as fast as possible which is also termed as explosively or explosive strength. So overall power development is divided into developing muscular strength and developing the rate of force development which is also known as explosive strength. Under explosive strength you can perform speed strength, strength speed or starting speed. These are the different variation of explosive strength which differ from one another on ability of how much load you lift. For example, in speed strength, you move lighter load but much more higher velocity. In strength speed, you move a little heavier or submaximal load but at a slower speed. And in starting speed, you move at much more higher load and using your body weight as an external load. Each of this ability of performing an activity or exercise or drill is emphasized with moving as fast as possible. To prescribe a power drills or power workout, or to give a stimulation for power development, intensity is expressed as percent of 1RM or repetition at desired velocity of movement. Load monitor to develop power fitness variable can be achieved using velocity based monitoring method. In velocity based monitoring method, the device monitors the velocity of movement using a linear positioning transducer technology or an accelerometer technology. Ultimately, how fast you are moving this object, in this example a barbell, is recorded in this device which is called as velocity based device. As mentioned in the earlier slide, Explosive strength has different variation which is characterized by the ability to move the load with a desired velocity. So when the desired velocity is in between 0.75 to 1 meter per second, it represents strength speed ability of explosive strength. Here the relative load is much more heavier or it is sub-maximal when the velocity of movement is between 1 to 1.5 which that is you lift the load or you move the or you perform an activity at a higher velocity you use a relatively lighter load and in starting speed the velocity of the movement is greater than 1.5 meter per second where the external load is your body weight now you Prescribe an exercise, you prescribe the repetition with a desired velocity of the movement where the external load is controlled using the speed of the movement. An example exercise prescription given here is you aim to improve the power fitness variable, you aim to improve the strength speed part of the explosive strength with four exercise, three sets for four repetition. 
Now using the velocity movement spectrum, strength speed needs to be performed within the range of 0 0.75 to 1 meter per second. The velocity at speed strength is in between 0 0.75 to 1 meter per second. Now you use the external load to match the velocity of the movement of a given exercise in between 0 0.75 to 1 meter per second. You perform it for 4 repetition and for every repetition you aim to move within 0 0.75 to 1 meter per second. Let's take another example of improving power. Here you try to aim to increase and give stimulation to speed strength. Now speed strength velocity is much more higher in between 1 to 1.3 meter per second and it is associated with much more lighter load. Now when it comes to starting strength, you match the velocity of movement greater than 1.5 meter per second. Here the external load is your body weight. So power training load can be monitored using a velocity based device. Velocity of the movement relative to the weight lifted in every repetition of an exercise should be emphasized rather than considering the external load and moving it fast you choose the external load to match the desired velocity of the movement. Thank you.